So now in this video, we have a couple NPN bipolar junction transistors wired as OR gates. So there's the pin layout if you're using the 2N3904. That's what I'm using there. Uh, we got the emitter where the arrow is, base off to the side there, collector on top, emitter, base, collector. When I turn them to the left, emitter is down below, base is in the middle, and collector is on top. The uh, two collectors are coming to where the short lead, the cathode of the LED is. Long lead anode has the resistor head of the positive supply. Now, um, we do have to be a little careful. Um, I can give false signals where this will activate a little bit. Um, but ideally, we'll be given uh, distinct high and low inputs. So if I uh, put that over to the negative supply there, and then this one to the negative supply, right now we have uh, two off uh, transistors, two low inputs, and the LED is off right there. Now, if uh, I move, I'm going to move this one to the on position, positive supply. There we have the LED on. And I can put this directly to the positive supply. We have a current limiting uh, resistor for the uh, transistor right there. We're going to get a little bit of base to emitter current. That's the current path right there. And it's going to allow a lot more to flow through. It is an on switch right there. It doesn't affect uh, this transistor at all. This transistor is in the off position. Um, current is not going to flow. Uh, that way, when we go positive, uh, it's not going to flow to negative there at all. Uh, plus, we got the uh, resistors even if it did. Um, but uh, we turn that transistor on right there. This one's just off. It's locked off. It's not conducting at all. We are perfectly safe. Now, we can put this back to the negative supply. So now we got both negative. The left one, uh, positive, high input, gave us a high output, an LED on. We can also go to the uh, positive supply on this side and now the LED is on so we had both off means the LED was off uh, one transistor on the output is on even though the other transistor is off one transistor off and then the other transistor on again the output was on and um, of course we can put uh, both transistors to the positive supply there so they're probably sharing the current right now but the current's the same you're uh, not going to see the LED get dimmer as we turn one or the other one off. They both have to be off for the LED to be off. That's the basic rules for an OR gate. So yeah, there you can see the gray jumpers on both of them are the emitters going to ground. And then the 10K resistor, doesn't have to be 10K, but 10K is usually used, um, is going to the base of the transistors. As you can see there, as I said before, the collector of the top pin, that's the short lead, the cathode of the LED, long lead. Uh, the anode going to the positive supply through the current limiting resistor, uh, normal uh, switch uh, circuitry. But yeah, here we got uh, two transistors. So maybe you got a couple of different ways you want to be able to turn, in this case, an LED on, but power a uh, load. Maybe they're weak signals and the transistor is uh, uh, boosting it. It can you know switch more than a weaker uh, signal. So that may be why you actually would use a transistor in a similar case like this. Um, but for some reason, you want uh, two different uh, inputs for turning it on. And you couldn't put uh, both inputs over there and just have one uh, go high to turn the transistor on or the other one go high. Because if one's low and one's high, whatever's high, current's gonna flow to where it's low. It's gonna be a short circuit, maybe, you know. So um, you may actually have um, some circuits where there's a, a good reason why you want uh, you know, uh, one transistor to turn on or the other in order to turn on a load. So, you know, I can't think of any offhand, but um, you know, it's a possibility. So there's the true table, as I said before, a inputs A and B, we could have more transistors doing this, as many as you want. But as long as one of them is on, then, or even all of them, whatever, two of them, three of them, however many, as long as at least one is on, the output is going to be on. That's what makes it an OR gate. If you use a uh, transistor with a different part number, especially if it doesn't start with 2N, I believe all the bipolar junction transistors that start with 2N, um, you know, verify that it is a bipolar junction transistor, will have this pin layout. But other ones uh, could have a different pin layout altogether. Uh, so I got the C945, I, I think mostly to point out the uh, different pin layout. And then again, one could mean high or close to five volts. There's a number of different meanings that could have. And then zero uh, can mean low 
or it can mean close to zero volts. Again, a number of uh, different meanings that it can have. I'm using a 220 ohm resistor because we have five volts. And again, uh, if the transistor's off, it's not conducting at all. No current's flowing. That's negative supply. If we go to the positive supply, very little amount of current, you know, five ohms, 10K uh, base two emitter. Um, it's gonna conduct better than what the LED and resistor want. So ultimately the resistor and the LED are going to limit the current uh, there. So I think it's like 13 milliamps of current uh, with this setup. And um, if that one's also on, it's just going to like be half one way and half the other way. So um, yeah, that's really about it. Just another demonstration of the OR gate. Uh, pretty simple. Just need one high input for a high output, or in this case, to turn the load on and uh, whatnot. So thanks for watching. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I posted on the screen, and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.